Well, good day, everybody, and welcome to this solar panel video brought to you by Bouge RV. They got great solar panels. They have the nine bus bar design. Check them out. Links below. I'm not quite ready to install these yet because I don't have a place to mount the charge controller or any of the wiring. The walls really aren't quite finished yet. We can at least make some brackets for them. I'd like to get the brackets up there before I paint so that everything can get painted at once and I don't have to be grinding off primer later on to weld on these brackets. So to make some brackets for a steel roof, we need some bolts and a little square pad similar to what we did last time. Easily detach, they go on by one bolt and they go onto a new solar panel if one gets damaged from uh, hail or anything like that. So, these little brackets make it easy to take on and off, clean the leaves underneath. Uh, yeah, they also help give a little bit of spacing, so when you go to pressure wash, it's easy to uh, clean out, blow out anything from underneath the panels. Gives room for connections and the wires. So you brackets come with their own little mounting hardware kits, but we will not need these except for the little bolt, lock washer, washer and nuts. Each Z bracket goes on with just a single bolt. All right, I scored a line from the top of these holes and then I measured and it turns out the first the first edge of this N is the center uh, of this bracket. Okay, got all 16 center tapped. Okay, we got all these drilled out. All right, let's get those brackets on. I'm just noticing on the other panels, bent up they are. I noticed the dents in the frame, figured that was just some light shipping impacts or something, but they're really bent up. Even worse, holy moly. Yeah, that's not good. I was a little too quick with my unboxing. I didn't notice that they, these were bent. I mean, I, they still work. These two aren't too bad. This one's got a ding right there, which caused it to bend a little bit. Okay, I already dropped this one time. It seemed to help a little bit. Got a 110 pound anvil. Got a little padding. I go right on that peak. I can live with that. Let's just let's go with that. Got some segments marked on this flat bar, one eighth inches thick by one and a quarter wide, one and a quarter spacing. So cutting out some squares, twelve the bolts too.
This has some lettering on it, but it still sits pretty flat. It's as flat as I need it anyway, so that's... I'm going to make sure I hold that as well while I'm welding so it doesn't get pushed off to the side. I'm just going to eyeball it center. Hold that in place, tack it, tack it, double check it, weld all the way around. Then we'll have ourselves a little weldable stud. Waited for nighttime. I think you got about 98 degrees today, or close to 100 anyway. It was pretty hot. So we're having a nice cool night. We're gonna finish our welding. Got an extra four in there just in case, just in case I need a few spares. But yeah, look at that, 20, 20 weldable studs, 20 weldable, 20 weldable studs with a one and quarter inch pad.
think I'm gonna make a basket from for my hoist that can lift four solar panels at once also other things having some great weather today it's probably mm, probably about 75 degrees it's perfect <laughs>
Okay, I forgot to take into account the length of the strap that I was going to use. Um, so to shorten things up, we flip this around. It won't be the support for the strap anymore, but it'll help keep the strap in the center. Uh, but even better, I'm going to use that D-ring I just took off the old generator platform. And add that right here, and that'll bring the hook all the way down instead of having about a, a foot above the frame here. The RV is 11 feet tall. The hoist is 16 feet tall. Leaves me about five feet. Uh, plus there's the, you know, the drop of the, the motor itself, the hoist, um, which hangs down about eight inches. So we don't have a lot of room to work up there. So I shorten things up by flipping this around. We're going to add the D-ring and I even cut eight inches off of the height of this. So now that should clear the roof. Got the rest of these brackets put on and I left them hand tight so I can shift them around if I need to. I'll tighten them up after I get the studs welded on. Looks sketchy in the way. That's freaking cool.
solar panel lift. I like it. be able to get four up here unless I do three side by side but I want to be able to walk between them and clean them if need be Yeah, I think I'll just do the four lengthwise down the sides like that. And I can walk between the middle and clean them when I need to. Let's get those lined up. I'll put down some marks from those measurements I took so I get things as even as possible. And then we'll weld on the studs. If I shift all the brackets all the way forward, then they should all be even. Okay, all those brackets are pushed forward and the bolts centered.
I love my new lift. That thing is freaking cool. Handy. It's a handy thing. on a little safety chain just in case That's one side done. Move the panels over and do that side. All the mounts are welded on. Now we can take the solar back down since I need to paint.
loving this lift. That is a handy deal there. This roof is ready for paint. 